What little jaunt down there in Fort to a little village called Oldmore by the Sea and the yard of Christian Williams, another trainer who seems to be able to improve horses. He gets horses very fit. How does he do it? Well, <laughs> I'm just about to find out. especially if it's raining. I hate it, but right now here, it's something a bit different. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, it's different, yeah. I think the horses are happy and the horses are relaxed and I'm actually a horse lover. I was brought up with horses, could ride before I could walk, so I like horses, so I enjoy being around them, like seeing them out in the fields and just the way we do it a bit different maybe, but it seemed to work last year, so. I think, obviously, to, to be involved with horses, you've got to like them, but there is a, there is a special bond when I watch you with your horses. You, you don't just like them, you know, you, you, you fall in love with them, really. Yeah, they've been great for us, and um, you know, we've got to be mindful of that, because the certain horses here won me five or six races last year, and they're probably going to be in a position this year where they can't win, win races, you can't carry on training them all. So um, horses need to be moved on as well, and fresh horses need to come in. But yeah, when they're in our care, Proctor's Corner is he'd be loved as much as the horse that um, wins this little a little race of faking and love. It's obviously different. Yeah, a lot of it here is just slow, steady work as the sand. And if you knock them out of the rhythm on the deep sand, the horse doesn't relax in his breathing. So the only work we can do here really is slow, steady work. So once or twice they'll they just go on the road, trot on the roads per week. They usually school on a Monday, but they would want a canter, just a steady canter for that. But we've got five or six tracks we use. We use on the dunes, we've got a long track, which we probably take them on four or five times leading up to a race. And then probably only once a week then when they start running, they just go around a short little loop. So we're probably not guarding them as much as you think. Is it written down? Are you sitting at home with the missus and going, well, I'll do something a bit more with that horse in the morning? Or is it done on just purely on instinct? Oh yeah, it's purely on instinct, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm not saying that's the right thing to do, but I think I'm probably lucky to do that because I ride them and so you take the rugs off and you see how oh, it looks a little bit light. So we won't do much of them today, send them up the road and, and then four or five go around the short block. You're telling me that we'd canter nearly six miles. We wouldn't, um, I'm not sure really, they do their, obviously they do their, they're out for an hour, they do their core work. We wouldn't, they wouldn't work as hard then when they get into our running routine. We've seen the run horses quite regular. Our horses run every 10 days to a fortnight. If they've got three weeks between their runs, it's usually, usually a long way with our horses, but um, they seem to be able to hold their form from, from the base around here, which is great. And it is a tremendous sort of uh, mark of a trainer that you can get horses to run consistently, and your horses continuously seem to build up sequences, which is, in these days, pretty hard to do. My horse is probably they probably improve for their runs because they're not quite sharp enough first time out at the races, but usually when they hit their form then they seem to. Um, Sideways won us four races last year, Captain Ord won four, Fifty Shades won six, Unimass won six. Because we're working off budgets at the moment, we're trying to buy like six, eight, ten grand horses, only small horses we're buying and you can feel them growing and you ride them out every day and you jump on a small horse once he's win a couple of races, you walk him down the road and he feels like feels like sitting on a big horse. So. Most of your horses, well correct me if I'm wrong, they spend most of the time in the field, don't they? Yeah, we keep them out as much as we can. We're lucky it's, uh, it's like sand based the fields here, it doesn't get really wet. So I was up on the sand dunes, we canted for six miles, my legs were like jelly. <laughs> it was pouring with rain and then I came past you and you got a, a big sort of beaming smile on your face. I mean, sometimes you have to pitch yourself, we're, we're so lucky to do the jobs we do, aren't we? Yeah, of course, yeah. Obviously, good saying a good ride before a good walk, so you're just saying you're living now through horses, you've got two nice young children at home, wife, and um, yeah, hopefully the business will keep growing. Do you know what, I don't think I've enjoyed two days filming more than I have the last couple of days. 
Went to Dr. Richard Newlands, perfectly brand new facilities, lovely all weather gallop. We come here to Christian Williams, who equally trains plenty of winners. Completely different though. We're wading through rivers, we're galloping six miles around sand dunes. The common denominator between the two, well, they get horses' minds right, they also get them very fit. But they just train winners, and that's what it's all about.